Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to um, oversimplified war, World War One Part 1 and Part 2. Well, before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. Anyways guys, let's check this out. But before we do continue, uh, I just want to say that the outside world is very noisy, there's a lot of animals just you know barking and whatever and there's chickens also there's goats there is apparently everything is outside and there's loud music so if you hear that this is just how it is in this part of the world so sorry about that but i'm gonna try to soundproof uh the room in the near future so that we don't get disturbed but anyways let's let's see what we have here i don't think i know anything uh, uh much about the world war one to be honest or maybe i did and i forgot the world of 1914 a time of modern technology culture and fashion truly the height of civilization let's have a Interesting. war everyone knew a big war was coming france wanted some stuff back that germany had taken from it germany wanted to take more of everyone's stuff and they were building a big sexy navy that was making the british uncomfortable sexy eastern empires thought they were really cool but lots of different people who lived there didn't think it was so cool and some of them had even been declaring independence with help from russia everyone was talking about each other behind each other's backs through the fact that military technology had come a long way since the last major war and suddenly everyone was pretty eager to beat each other up in this area of Austria-Hungary lived some Serbs and Bosnians who hated living Sorry, in Austria-Hungary. So the Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand goes there for a nice drive in an open-top car with his car's route published in advance. And that went just about as well as you'd expect. Some assassins were waiting for him along the way and threw bombs at his car. But they missed and blew up some officers. Oh, shit. sheet of paper. So the Archduke goes into hiding, leaves Sarajevo, and the whole war never happens. Except, no, the Archduke doesn't leave, but instead goes back out in the open top car to visit the injured officer. Oh, my the gosh. The driver takes a wrong turn and by sheer coincidence gets stuck. Is it really a wrong turn? Was the driver paid? Because wrong turn. Really wrong. Beside one of the failed assassins who shoots him. He got, Hungary is understandably he got some bad this. after that, they think the, the driver. Serbian government had something to do with it, which they might have. So they go to their ally Germany and say, Hey Germany, we're going to declare war in Serbia. And Germany is all for that. So Austria-Hungary send a big list of impossible demands to Serbia. And when Serbia refuses, they declare war. Oh, sheet of paper. Austria-Hungary and Germany are friends. And Serbia is protected by Russia, who's friends with friends. So they'll declare war on each other. Montenegro oh. joins in too. France and Britain also have a kind of alliance. So when France says, I think I remember the Serbia Montenegro um, alliance to, you know, to fight. I don't know why I know that for some reason. And you got my back. Britain is like, maybe. <laughs> and then they decide. To Britain is always the last minute, Britain, actually. Germany, because Germany has a plan. They know that Russia is so big and clumsy that it will take them a while to get ready for war. Big so with clumsy. this guy in charge, Germany will send all its troops into France at lightning speed while Russia is getting ready. Defeat France, then move all the troops to Russia and defeat Russia. And then we all speak German and eat fetter podcast every day. I have Just no idea problem. what that is. France has loads of forts and defenses along its German border. And Germany can't waste any time fighting them. So Germany decides to go around them. Uh -huh. Belgium. Belgium is neutral, but Germany wants to march 750,000 troops through it to get around France's defenses. They're hoping Belgium will just kind of sit down and shut up, but they don't. They fight back, and they're pretty good too, so they slow the Germans down. What's worse is that Britain shows up, and they're pretty pissed that Germany is invading neutral countries. So now Britain declares war in Germany. So Germany push on through Belgium and commit some atrocities along the way. They also oh. wear spikes and sometimes skulls on the uniform. So if you're trying to not look like the bad guys, good job. The Allies have a propaganda extravaganza, and this starts having an influence around the world, notably in America. The US President Woodrow Wilson sees himself as a bit of a Jesus figure and spends most of the war trying to get everyone to just hug it out. But there's also Let's a large population out. of ethnic Germans living in the United States. And when the war first broke out... So was that German's flag before? Because 
That looks nothing like German. They were like, yay, German. Yeah, I think that was their flag before it changed. I think the black, no. The white is yellow now, right? I wonder why. But they're committing atrocities in Belgium. They're less enthusiastic. Let's play Spot the French Soldier. Did you see him? Easy, right? He's wearing a bright blue uniform with red trousers. And do you know who else spotted him easily too? The Germans. So when the French were slowly marching oh my gosh. The, side, the Germans easily tore them to shreds. So their uniforms so the like slowly... gave them away. French troops in their new uniform. Interesting. Marching in columns through the countryside, the Germans easily tore them to shreds with their giant guns. All the nations involved in this war went in with an old school war mentality. And all of them had to never... update their uniforms and tactics a lot during the Great War. <laughs> France is like, no, none of them. Anyone had ever seen before. Russia's ready for war, and way earlier than expected. Hey, Austria Hungary, can you get on top of that? Oh, yeah, sure, we've got this. Nope. So Germany has to send some troops back to the east to defend against the Russians. The chief of staff of the Austro-Hungarian army is this guy, and although he is handsome, he turns out not to be the best military strategist. Austria-Hungary constantly ignores Germany's advice, and then comes running back to Germany whenever they get in trouble. I know some people like that. Gets its ass kicked by tiny Serbia, who repels all their invasions. Why is the volume so low now? It's better news for Germany in the north, though, where they almost completely wipe out the Russian second army. Back on the western front, I'm the Germans deaf. continue advancing and are in sight of Paris. At this point, anyone would be forgiven for thinking the Germans were going to get that quick victory after all. But then things start to go wrong. The French commander in chief knew something had to be done and he ordered his armies to stop retreating. In the resulting battle, a gap opened up in the German lines. If a gap opens up, the enemy can use it to flank you from the side and behind, so the German armies have to retreat. The Allies launch a counterattack, so the Germans dig into defensive positions. Oh. The Allies do the same. Then both sides move north, trying to outflank each other along the way. That's Belgium. When they reach the sea, they're in a stalemate with trench systems running the whole way from the coast to Switzerland. The beginning of trench warfare on the Western Front. Here's how trench warfare works. Two opposing lines of trenches with no man's land in between. Oh. One side would pull the other with hundreds of thousands of artillery shells, sometimes for days at a time. This had a huge psychological effect on the soldiers, leaving many shell shocked. Then I remember happened. Downtown Abbey because of that. The troops would leave their trenches and rush across no man's land, a muddy wet mass of shell craters and barbed wire. The defending trench would unleash machine gun fire on the attackers, inflicting oh. thousands of casualties. The attackers would send wave after wave until either they gave up or the opposing trench was finally on run. There would be months of fighting and the deaths of thousands in order to gain a few meters or kilometers of oh land. Oh my gosh. Living in the trenches was hard work too. Corpses, mud that could swallow you whole, pools of poisonous water, rats, disease, the smell. It's insane that millions of soldiers put up with these conditions and commanders ordered them to do so oh for years. Oh my gosh. That is brutal. It is because you are, you have to, right? You Like you're supposed to, they put you there. And it's not the best conditions. You are going to die either way, like of disease, of... Um, of the gunshots or starvation something damn well we're gonna go jump into part two right now so let's see what we have with both sides stuck in a hard stalemate they knew this war wasn't going to be about taking territory but about simply wearing each other down the allies had plenty of men to expend from its overseas dominions and the British also Ooh, let me look at the overseas the dominion. plenty of men to expend from its overseas dominion. I just want to see oh we are not part of it I was looking at Philippines but it's not part of it okay and the British also started a naval blockade so Germany couldn't import stuff oh, oh side damn. wanted a long grueling war though so they both thought of ways to break the deadlock on the western front idea number one new frontiers when the war first broke out, Australia was quick to take German New Guinea. The Allies also quickly jumped on Germany's colonies in Africa. Oh. And particularly in German East Africa, locals were enlisted as soldiers and carriers by both sides, leading to a tragic loss of life for the native Africans. Oh my God. Some new combatants entered the war as well. The Allies' new friends were Italy and Japan. Japan was busy building itself an empire, so it was more than happy to take away German islands and colonies in East Asia. We yeah. were like living in a oblivion at that point. So it was more because than happy to take away. We're just like, da, 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 da. 
we're just green right now so we're just living our life until i think it might have been japan or america that colonies in east asia Italy actually had an alliance with Germany Him. and Austria-Hungary before the war. But after some tense relations, and then the Allies promising to give them some of Austria-Hungary's stuff, they switched sides. Italy opened up a front in the mountains here, but like everyone else, Everybody was fighting for most of the war. The Central Powers' new friend was a struggling empire in the Middle East. The Ottomans... Ottoman? The Ottomans Turkey, were divided on whether to actually join the war or not, since they had been exhausted by the recent Balkan Wars. Mm. Some of the politicians who did want to join went off on their own and fired some shells at Russia. And then came back and said, huh? looks like we're at war now. The Ottoman entry into the war was of particular concern to the British, since the Middle East was full of oil, and Britain wanted oh. all of that oil. First, the Ottomans tried to attack Russia in the Caucasus Mountains, but they weren't prepared for the cold, and many of them froze to death. Then they crossed miles of desert to take the Suez Canal from the British, but that failed too. Then the Allies tried to take the Dardanelles at Gallipoli in a long and hard trench warfare campaign, but that also failed. The Ottomans blamed their initial losses on the ethnic Armenians living within Ottoman territory, and the resulting Armenian genocide led to the deaths of one and a half million people. And then the Germans sent spies into Afghanistan Why I know to try that? to convince the Arab tribes there to rise up in jihad against the British and attack India. But that oh. plan failed, partly because the spies got bored, brewed their own alcohol, and got drunk, which is a bad thing to do in Afghanistan. All these new frontiers hadn't done much to change the war. Aware that the Allies had more men and supplies than them, the Germans knew they had to do something to break the stalemate. Before the war, there was a big conference that set out the rules of modern warfare. No chemical weapons, no killing civilians, Basically, don't be jerks. Okay. The Germans held a meeting and decided to be jerks. Except we know the how that. Commenced over British cities. They also started attacking the trenches with chlorine gas, and they used submarines to sink civilian ships. Mm. One such civilian ship was the Lusitania, which had 159 Americans on board when it was sunk. Uh, so don't include America. Like when you include America in any situation, you doom. You, it's over for you, right? Is this camera? really really pale right now i feel like i'm so white what is happening u.s opinion against the germans not to be completely unfair to the germans the allies also engaged in chemical warfare soon after and they had been hiding anti-submarine weapons on their civilian ships which let the germans justify their attacks meanwhile okay. austria oh, yeah. hungary still had laptop with Serbia, is overheating so the central powers enlisted some help bulgaria wished it was bigger and was still bitter about losing the second balkan war the Central Powers promised to make all of Bulgaria's wildest dreams come true if they helped, so they signed on, and together they knocked out Serbia. The Serbian troops retreated through Albania, which was neutral but had some ties to Austria-Hungary. So Austria-Hungary entered Albania in a friendly invasion to chase down the Serbians, many of whom escaped by sea. It's 1916, and a lot is happening. As if they didn't have enough enemies already, Germany added one more to the list. Oh my Portugal gosh. had been a bit chummy with the Allies behind the scenes, and Germany didn't like that one bit. Around the same time, the only sea battle of the war happened. Both sides had a new powerful class of battleships called Dreadnoughts, but they were so expensive to build that neither side wanted to risk losing them in a battle. So they kept them in port, except for one time when they had a big fight and a bunch of them got damaged, so they didn't try that again. The UK started conscripting men to the army, so they had plenty of reserves. I'm sorry if I keep moving my uh, laptop, it's like overheating, and I have to like move it away from the light or. The noise is annoying. Which is just as well because the Western Front was about to get brutal. The longest and one of the bloodiest battles of the war started when the Germans launched an attack around the French city of Verdun. The French defended it desperately, leading to hundreds of thousands of casualties. Under pressure, the French called on its allies to do something to draw the Germans' attention away. So the British started their own long and brutal fight, the Battle of the Somme, with 60,000 British casualties on just the first day. Oh my gosh, It was gosh, also here like that. that the British first used one crazy brand new piece of sci-fi technology. The so the British are the ones who started using tanks. Territory. But in response to the French call for help, they began a huge offensive and did really well until they ran out of supplies and got stuck. Seeing how well the Russians had been doing, Romania decided now would be a great time to jump in and win the war. Uh, and then they got pounded. Oh. The Greeks were fighting amongst themselves about whether to join the Everybody's war Everybody's really like... The king liked the central powers while the prime minister wanted to join part. the allies. Well, After that's why it's called world war, war, right? During it's which not the just... country split into two, the king finally abdicated and the country reunited. With allied help, they began a new offensive. In the Middle East, Russia was pushing into Ottoman territory I wonder what the North. German was thinking that time. The British had also made the landing in Mesopotamia to protect Persia's oil fields. 
and they had also sent a small army up the Tigris River to try to take Baghdad, but the army got sieged in the town of Kut along the way, and eventually surrendered. A new offensive was launched from the south with all-out desert warfare. The offensive was aided by one famous British officer, better known as Lawrence of Arabia, who helped lead the Arab tribes in a revolt that wreaked havoc on the Ottoman supply line. By the time 1917 rolled around, everyone was exhausted. There were mutinies in the French army, the German populace was starving, and the war had drained all of Russia's supplies. There was no clear winner, and it was still anyone's war. The only uh. question now was, who was going to break first? And the answer was Russia. Tired of not eating, and mad that a crazy magic homeless guy was calling some of the shots, there was an uprising in Petrograd, complete with riots and strikes. The riots turned into a full-scale revolution, and a new government overthrew the Tsar. Then a few months later, the Bolsheviks overthrew the new government, oh my gosh. and they pulled Russia out of the war. This was great news for Germany, who now only had to focus on the Western Front. But there was still one problem. The pesky United States of America was looking increasingly like it was going to join the war. America had been selling supplies to the Allies throughout the war, and was getting super rich off the back of it, meaning it was in fantastic shape and was dangerous to the Germans. So Germany sent a telegram to Mexico saying, wouldn't it be crazy cool if you guys attacked America? But the British intercepted the message, showed it to the Americans, Oh, and the sheet of paper. The American troops began shipping You, to you don't and want to play with America. Germany, and they knew their only hope now was to force France and the UK to surrender before the fresh American troops arrived. It was now or never. So they started... But UK is a snitch, huh? They converged their troops and hit hard at the song and pushed the Allies back. They hit a second time for the north, then again and again. With each hit, the Germans were spending more and more resources, while the Allies were getting better and better at repelling oh. their attacks. By the fifth punch, the Allies held the line and even pushed back. With American troops now arriving in larger numbers, the Allies launched a counterattack, and that was it. Oh. The Central Powers were being pushed back on all fronts. Bulgaria collapsed first, followed by the Ottoman Empire, then Austria-Hungary, and finally on November 11th, 1918, at 19. 11 o'clock, Germany surrendered. At the peace treaty, Germany was forced to reduce its military, accept war guilt, and pay the bill for the war. After indescribable suffering, oh, instead, no. the world learned its lesson and never had such an awful war again. For about 20 years. There we go, because there was another war, which is World War II, which we're gonna get into in the next video i mean in the upcoming uh weeks probably not next video but in the upcoming weeks but yeah that was a really inter interesting i mean to look at it in this cartoon perception and it, it's easily explained right oversimplified doll so it's nice as someone who wants to learn world history i mean it's not detailed so if you are like somebody who really needs that full detail this is not going to be for you but if you just want to like have a summary of what happened then this will be the perfect like for kids you know this will be perfect will kids be able to understand i'm not sure but yeah that was an interesting because um i forgot about what happened in our history and i don't know if i even learned about this i might have but i don't have any sort of recollection to world history i mean world war or world history let's just put it that way anyways so yeah we will continue again with world war ii uh probably next week so anyways if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave it a comment section down below what other videos like to react to the original link of this video will be in the description box down below so it's my social media link so guys i'll see you in the next video bye